Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and these are some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. So I was like, Sam, start collecting your stuff that you use up, because I use up a lot of stuff, and put it in a video. So I've been collecting these for a few months, maybe not a few months, but a while. And now I'm here to show them to you guys, so let's get into the video. To start off with, I have shampoo and conditioner for my hair, and I have, oh, that was loud, sorry. The Bedhead Self Absorbed Shampoo and Conditioner, and I liked it. Um, they have like a mega nutrient one that I've been using, and I like it a lot more. It's even if I just use shampoo on it, it still makes my hair very soft, and the conditioner makes it even extra softer, but it doesn't make it greasy because these kind of made my hair a little bit greasy, and I hate that. My hair gets so greasy so fast anyway, so they're good. I'll probably repurchase them. Um, I like them in the winter time when my hair is dry, that makes sense. The second bath item I guess we could do is this Dove Purely Pampering Body Wash in Pistachio Cream with Magnolia. This is my favorite body wash of all time, the smell of it is just heavenly, like, oh, I like just want to get in the shower just to smell it. Let me just, yep, yep love it. But I went um, to go find more of them to buy and stock up, and nowhere. I couldn't find them anyway, so I don't know if they're gone, or if like just the stores didn't have them. But I am really sad if they're gone, because it's my favorite smell, and that was my last one. That's sad. Okay, the next item is the Bure For Your Pores Nose Strips. Scared of all those blackheads. I get blackheads, like that is the main thing on my nose, it's just blackheads. And this rips those suckers out, like, <laughs> it's disgustingly gross, but a little bit, um, nice, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I really like them, and I use them, like, once a week, and so I've already repurchased them. Now we have, let me just, oh, one more, face wipes. I use face wipes every night to take off my makeup and then I wash my face in the morning. I find that um, these take off my makeup pretty well and in the morning it's just like a refresher. But if I wash my face morning and night, my face starts to break out. And I find that this helps not break my face out. It's a little weird, but it works for me. So I have a few different kinds that I've tried. So the first one is the Simple um, Cleansing Facial Wipes. Hated these. Hated these. I gave them to my sister because, oh. It just made your face like have this film on it and and like it cleaned it but I could feel <laughs> the stuff on my face and I could not do it at all. And then I have the three of the Neutrogena, Neutrogena makeup wipes. They're okay. I mean like I repurchased some because I needed some. I still feel a little bit of film on my face and I feel like they're a little bit dry and so I always have to like squeeze some water into it to make them a little bit wetter, but they're okay, they're not bad. But my all-time favorite, like, oh, I love these, I love them so much, is the Equate, which is the Walmart brand of, like, it's like the knockoff brand of this, if that makes sense. They're my favorite, oh my gosh, they're so good, they don't leave a film, they take up all the makeup, um, they are not too dry and they're not too wet that it's soaking wet but they're just like the perfect amount and oh my gosh so good like they're my favorite makeup wipes of all time the next product I have is toothpaste because yes I do brush my teeth <laughs> but it is the Colgate optic optic white yeah optic white and honestly I don't see a difference in it whitening my teeth at all but I do notice um it does the job if that makes sense, so maybe it's whitening just a little bit, and I like it, repurchased it, have huge quantity quantities of it in my bathroom. Now onto some makeup products, because those are always my favorite. Um, I am very, very oily, like very oily, so every day around 2 o'clock, um, it is my time to blot my face. So these are the e.l.f. makeup blotting oil sheets and they are super good on getting the oil off and not taking your makeup off with it just getting the oil off and for the price of them which is like two dollars I think they're pretty awesome but my all-time favorite 
with the, the, these Palladio, I'm not sure how you say them, but the Palladio rice paper in translucent ones. Oh, these are so good. Like they put, like they take the oil off and they don't take your makeup off, but then they put like the rice paper like powder back on your face to make you not oily again and it I don't know they just work wonders I really like them and I have repurchased like 10 more of these because I love them so much the next thing I have well it's not really beauty but well like makeup but it is I went through perfume this is like the first perfume that I've ever actually like gone through because I love this smell so much I actually my sister got it for Christmas and I uh, still look for her in a few days and then she's like you have to give it back to me and I was like fine so then I went and bought my own and I've already repurchased another one of these I love the smell of it one of my friends was actually I put it on and she's like oh my gosh like what perfume did you just put on and I showed her and she was like bath and body works and I'm like yeah it's so good um it's a thousand wishes I forgot to say that but love this smell already repurchase it's good now on to actual makeup products. I think it's hard for me to go through makeup products because, I mean, like, I don't have a ton, but I have enough that it takes me a while to go through these, so I'm pretty proud that I went through some. But it's, I have the Super Sizer Mascara. I've already repurchased this. This is my number one favorite mascara of all time. It is so good. And, yeah, I love it. And then I have a NYX, a NYX Matte Soft Matte Lip Cream, and it is in the shade London. I love this so much. I love the formula of these. It makes like, it goes on but you don't feel it. It's not sticky at all. And then it stains your lips and um, so when it wears off it's not weird. It like stains and wears off very nicely. And this London color is like a brown nude but I feel like it matches my lips pretty well. So even if it does come off weirdly, sometimes maybe you don't notice because my lips are pretty much the same color. The last product, dang it, I thought I had more. <laughs> That's okay. The last product I have is um, a concealer. It's the Maybelline Fit Me in 15 Fair. This is my favorite drugstore concealer. I need to try more. I've actually never tried a lot more. Just like, I've always stuck with this one. So if you have any suggestions, let me know, because I want to try some more. But it's a very good concealer. I already repurchased it. I'm actually like halfway through that one. So yeah. It's a pretty good one. So I hope you liked all of the empties that I had. Um, and then you could see like what I liked, what I didn't like, what kind of worked, what kind of didn't. And I love these videos, so I hope that you liked mine. And I hope that you guys will subscribe, like, comment, random things to me. I don't know. Suggestions. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.